John, just walk me through your emotions right now. Oh, man, this is a emotional game for me. This is for Maya, one of my close friends that I lost that I met last year. And uh, this is tough, man. I mean, to see a little kid that fights so hard for cancer and can't beat it. And, uh, this game's for her, man. All my jerseys, my shorts. Uh, I'm gonna give it to her family. It's a tough day for me. And uh, I was really quiet today. So it was tough. I'm talking to you before the game and you're never like this. She really touched your heart, didn't she? Buck, obviously John's very emotional, guys. We'll send it back to you. Kentucky remains unbeaten with a 64 to 61 win over UConn. Absolutely a terrific college basketball game. The intensity emotional. They're taking all the toys home. Shooting lights out. 11 for 18 for three point range. It's 72 35. Wall to wall shooting. McFarland on the high side. Nobody can cut off. John Wall. That's just a great pass. No, it is Wall. And Miller was a Bledsoe. Bledsoe to Wall. Or he can pass. And look at him play defense. John Wall. By Willington Smith. Way outside. And tanks it in. John Wall comes. Wall the other way. Two on two. Gets his own rebound. And scores. That's a talented team. Low command spot. He slid right underneath. Wall Zola comes to coast and that Kentucky in an off-shooting night, 19. 
Open court player. It's almost impossible to stay in front of him, especially when he gets up a rate of speed going to the basket. And he can also get to the rim. He's explosive off the floor as well. You can throw a lob to him and he can dunk it backwards. He's improving his shot. He can make a set shot. I think he's got to learn to shoot the ball better on the move and get better with his percentages. But I think he's got the potential to be an outstanding defender. He can pass the ball. He's really got the complete package as a player. And I think John Wall is a really hard worker. He is coachable. He's shown that ability where he's willing to listen and that speaks very well of him as a player. A couple special things about him too in the barbershops of Lexington in Kentucky I hear he's called the uh, Blue Jesus believe it or not <laughs> that plus the fact that he actually had a dance named after him because he was such a sensation to start the year and right now our Andy Katz is standing by with John Wall. Well for two years and talking about the 2010 NBA draft John Wall's name has been talked about as the potential number one pick. Well, we're finally here. We're going to hear the names of the draft lottery. How much have you been anticipating this lottery night? Well, I've been waiting for a long time, you know. I wanted, to, I wanted to do this experience to see how college basketball was. You know, I had a great season there, and, you know, they had a chance to play the game of the NBA that I love and that I wish I played my whole life. It means a lot to me, and to do it for my family, it means a lot. What's it going to mean when you see which team actually gets that top pick? Well, to be honest, it don't really matter to me, you know. I'm happy to be in this situation to play the game that I love the most, to have a chance to be in the NBA next year and play on the court. It means a lot to me and my family. Why do you think you're ready to go in, not just be the top pick, but have an impact in the NBA next season? Well, because I'm a hard worker, you know. I'm going to listen to whatever everybody got to tell me. I'm going to listen to the coaching staff. I'm going to listen to the veterans. You know, I think the college experience helped me out a whole lot with Coach Calipari and the whole coaching staff. And just my experience of playing with you at college basketball, Prepare me for the next level. A lot of times, teams that get the top pick are the teams that had losing records. How would you handle a team that had a losing record? Well, you know, me as a leader and a point guard, I always want to win. You know, the main thing is in good. You know, if you lose games, you can't get frustrated. You can't get down. You know, that's the key thing is being mentally prepared. So I got to go in there, try to make my teammates better, listen to my coaching staff, and just try to win games for the team and the organization. Well, in a poll of almost a third of the NBA teams at ESPN.com did, John Wall was the consensus number one pick. And welcome to the 2010 draft at Madison Square Garden in New York City. With the first pick in the 2010 NBA draft, the Washington Wizards select John Wall from the University of Kentucky. John Wall is the first Kentucky player ever selected, number one overall. Baseball. Blocked from behind by Wall. And then finished with the contact. Yeah, yeah. nice little move. Wall delivers from the corner, putting it down. Making ready for this game at the start. This one. Hard for working hard on the defensive end. Left handed between right. the legs there, Phil. Connell falls down and Wall throws it. Tell you, John is just straight toying with dudes now. Garrett inside. Signal Wizards ball. How about that? Plastering the backboard. Quarter. Wall tries. And the left handed slam over Lopez. Mahimi is his first. John spins in the lane, gives it up, beautiful pass. And have to get two technicals to be ejected. Wall at the other end at the buzzer. Wall between his legs, behind his back, goes off the glass and scores. Up ahead to Johnson and Wall with a block from behind. No call. Here nightly performance by John Wall. Look at that. Here's Wall. Thrown it to the rim. Anticipation by Wall. He's going to easily beat Jokic down the court. Coming up on three minutes to play. Wall drives. Finished with a left hand. Where's the tuck and beat going at it? Wall oh, oh, finds the opening. John Wall already out for the rest of this season because of his injured heel now needs surgery for a ruptured Achilles.
after slipping in his comb, according to the team. Now, the Wizards have not determined a date for the surgery, but said Wall is expected to miss approximately 12 months from the time of his operation. He first had surgery on January 8th for bone spurs and that other chronic Achilles injury. He had a sore Achilles. That got infected. Mm. He's got to wait for the infection and inflammation to go down before he can even have the surgery on his ruptured Achilles. So, as we look at what the Wizards... Are